All right, let's do this. It's a little bit of a different one. There's this like TikToker that has basically unfortunately become a lol cow. Um, and we're going to like look into it. This person has this thing. Their name is Juniper. I've seen some less than stellar things from them. But what is a little bizarre to me is there's this person. I forget. I think that's, I forget their name, but they dress up like a woman and they troll people with disabilities. And that's how this whole thing started. I think I forget the person's name, Linda Belinda or something. Yeah, Linda Benda or something. That's pretty much their whole thing is just dressing up like a woman. And, and I'm pretty sure it's a guy. And then just bullying every like I've seen them bully so many different people with disabilities on TikTok. And so regardless of what comes like, about this Juniper person, I'm not going to say they're a good person or a bad person or anything right now. We're going to watch more of it. It's like another case of an individual bullying and trolling people with disabilities to hope that they're not good or perfect people to virtue bully. They don't really care about bad things that people do. It's about exploiting people with disabilities who are in a lot of cases may not necessarily, they're not necessarily operating in the same way that we're all operating with. Um, you know, there have, there's different, you know, they have different struggles in their life just for content. And it's something that's like super normalized. Right. So let's watch this video though. It's called investigating TikTok's biggest creep. Juniper. All right, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be investigating boy. TikTok's biggest creep. You guys might have seen this guy popping up on your For You page lately. He's been going extremely viral. I actually discovered this guy a couple days ago. I've been trying to catch up on all the lore. It's so he's so odd. He goes by the name Jupiter, but I guess his I'll real name is Corbin Panel. I think that's how you pronounce that. For the first time I saw him on my For You page, he was very strange just by the stuff he said, and I knew. Uh, yeah. I mean, he has. I believe he has autism. I think that's how you pronounce that. For the first. Um, it says I have to keep my voice down due to something my, my roommate are sleeping. Um, my friend received this from Jupiter, you know. This time I saw him on my For You page, he was very strange just by the stuff he said, and I knew it was like something was off with him. But after doing a little yeah. digging, I guess he's got caught talking to multiple minors, and he's 25 years old. So anyway, we're going to go through bad. and just uh, kind of look specifics. at some stuff he's been saying and doing. All right, so this is like the first video I saw about him. I guess this is one of the girls he's been messaging. I don't know how old this girl is. He sends them like weird videos. I'll just let the video explain. So your name is Sophia, right? Well, this little devil... Well, if we don't know the age of the person, then what does it matter? This is the problem, right? And this is something that people do. First of all, it's obviously wrong, you know, to be 25 and talking to people that are very young. When we're talking about somebody with like an intellectual disability, it doesn't fully excuse their behavior that they engage in when they do bad behavior. But they ha we have to understand that there's a different perception of the world. And one of the problems is, is that like this is probably somebody, it's possible this is somebody might be actively looking for young people. It's also possible that this is somebody who doesn't do well socially and then somebody poses as a young person to try to expose them as a bad person. This person probably needs additional supports and to learn boundaries properly. Like that's most likely what's going on in this particular situation. Right. Um, you know, and it's just a, it's just like a reality of the situation. So. Wants you to know. The reason why he wants you to date him is because if you like what you see, you take it. If you like what you want, you know you want, then grab it. You know the price and buy it. These are the reasons why I want you to date me. Because okay. you're cute, you make me laugh. We don't know how old this person is, or the person yeah, that you're talking to I is, love you or supposedly. And hopefully, you will love me in return. And Sophia, you like what you see, take it. You want it, take it for yourself. And. You're brave, smart, and cute. Those are the reasons why I want you to date me. Jupiter's here for you, baby. As you can see, there's something wrong with this kid. I don't know what condition. Well, my thing, well, they're 25, but my thing is, is like, if we don't, he said he didn't know the age of the person. So why are we even speculating on that? Like cringe scenario, but okay. He has, but he is not in the right state of mind. I was a minute long. This is a TikTok from another girl who got sent a video by okay. Jupiter. Okay, Maya, three reasons we- Wait, how old is this person supposedly? Cause they're all gonna be fake decoys stuff like probably this Linda person trying to set them up to make it look like they're some kind of a predator. You should date. One, if you like what you see, then take it. Right off the bat, he's sticking with the same strategy. It might be working, I don't know. You think okay. that you'll be able to handle me, and that's on you. Three, you're cute as hell, and I'd love to have you on my arm. I and guess hell is very reason. cute. 
If you think that you'll be able to tame my inner beast, oh, knock yourself out, girl. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is a hell of a risk. These are my moment. reasons for you to date me. These are so hard to watch, dude. Holy shit. I also discovered this account. It's oh, called fuck. The Linda Binda. I guess it's a dude who dresses up as a girl and he like has been interviewing him i saw one of these but i wanted to wait till i started recording this video because these i feel like are gonna be the most weird i'm a i'm a hybrid between vampire and werewolf i'm a hybrid my dad's a vampire my blood dad's a vampire my blood mom's a werewolf meaning i wound up with both their powers so when i first Ooh. got on with you my skin started to itch that's the one thing about us magical creatures when we actually interact with others of our kind we get itchy. My shoulder was just getting itchy when I first met you. I was itching right here. Yeah, I usually okay. get itchy around my neck. Tell me about your ideal date. If you had to take me on a date, what would you do to me? I mean, with me. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Thanks. And cute. So, I'd probably take you somewhere nice. Probably take you up to Golden Corral from my place. Golden Corral. Hey, 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 hey. Listen. I don't want to hear any fucking Golden Corral slander. Don't even stop. Golden Corral, shut up. Golden Corral. Do not slander the Corral, okay? All right, that's an excellent date. First of all, it's a little expensive. Not super expensive or anything. Um, yo, what the fart? Not, you know, maybe not the most expensive, but it's 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 got some prices to it. But second of all, it's a nice time, okay? Wow, what a first date. I'm literally turned on, you can tell, just by my eyes, because my eyes start glowing, start glowing a little. A little and thirsty, I, just, I think. I like sucking on t***s mostly, so... <laughs> okay. Listen, one thing you're going to learn about people with disabilities is just something that you need to understand. Um, is that they, can, they get just as horny as the rest of us, okay? It is a real thing, alright? It's a real plague. You know, some of the, you know... It's real, man. You know they really are just the same as all of us. They got that lot. They got that dog in them. Got that dog in them. If a woman likes that sort of thing, then I'll do it. Yeah. My sister <laughs> Cheyenne okay. trained me in combat, though. Okay. I. Pretty you, cool. You said that you sucked on your sisters. No, that was a that. I don't do that to my family. I'm not into that. I'm not that sweet home Alabama bull. You know, I'm okay. not that kind of guy. Have you ever uh, like based? used your powers on someone? I did take my true form in front of one of my ex girlfriends. Causing oh, her to freak out and hold up a cross. Like whenever a I get oh, cross. water. Bro, that's another thing. This kid thinks he has like superpowers. My gentleman <laughs> callers yes, have is... always said that I have a WAP. I'm basically what, what you call you, an anti-hero. I love that song. Someone asked for a okay. fit check. They want to see what your outfit is. I'm wearing a tank top with some PJs. Some PJ bottoms. Oh, wow. All I good. know that thing is thinking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, you're making me really juicy right now. Okay. <laughs> I know. I have that effect on women. I really do. <laughs> I don't get Based. how he doesn't understand. Like, it's just being <laughs> trolled. I feel like this is like your this is your average individual who doesn't quite understand people with disabilities. Like, yeah, he does it. Like, some people with it's this person most likely has autism. They don't really know when people are being sarcastic or fucking with them. Like, that's one of. That's one of the aspects of having autism is like not understanding sar sarcasm or satire. Like, yeah, but that's why you, like, I don't understand. Like, yeah, you like, it's not a hot take. <laughs> this is pretty, uh, this is pretty understandable. You know what I mean? I'll just say it. I like how he's saying I have that effect on women and he's showing off his armpit hair. Okay. Hey. I guess this is like the final part of the interview. Okay. I'm not very big down there, but I can still provide some uh, satisfactory. Based. What? Based. Fine. This one chick who I dated back in high school. Know what huh? she did after I f her? <sighs> okay. Pressed her charges on me. W hold on, what? what do you do? Bro, it just keeps getting. What did he say? Press charges on him? What? Provide some s in high school. Know what she did after I f her? What? Pressed her charges on me. Oh, he might have pressed charges on him for assault. Okay. Hold on, what? Is that what he Bro, said? Bro, it just keeps getting worse. Is that what he what? said? I don't really know what he can't said. can't live without my siblings, and I can't shoot them. Uh, okay. What? I mean, can't live with them, can't live without them, I think is what he's trying to say. But I want to go back to the other one. Is, are, we, are we interpreting that correctly? That's a little saucy, obviously. Uh, just have an inspiring story. Yeah. I came from someone who was nothing and came into something else, you know?
Okay. If you want, after after this, we can talk on Facebook and I can take a shower for you. I sometimes let the women I'm close to watch me shower. <laughs> what does that mean, the women he's close to? Bro? That's fucking wild, man. What the hell? <laughs> what does that mean? The women he's close to. I don't understand. That's a little that's a little out of pocket, man. Um Okay. I think he needs a uh, you know, maybe a little It's not really how you're supposed to talk to people. Obviously there is a pretty considerable boundary issue there. Okay. Okay. It's based, I think. I'll talk to you later, Jupiter. It's nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't think it could get worse. What the fuck? This dude is insane. I wonder if his well, actual I mean, TikTok is still up. All right, so the caption of this video says this is an update on Jupiter documentary coming soon. So this was posted yesterday, I believe. And right now I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what to expect for the documentary. Be prepared. Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to, because I don't mind. Um, if you do, I don't mind. Do you plan on trying me in if I say yes? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, this kid, needs, this kid needs help. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's not good at all, obviously. Um, <laughs> this, I mean, this person needs professional help. That's really what it comes down to. Obviously. Oh, Jesus Christ. The, the, yeah, this is <laughs> definitely not good. You know? Because here's the thing. It's absolutely possible this person is searching out kids. It's also possible that, like, this guy's so desperate that he's just not saying no to minors. And th at the end of the day, what we know for a fact is that this individual needs to see, like, a therapist um, and just be better monitored at the very least. You know? Damn. Not good. It's not good. I don't know, but Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, I would never. I lower the age consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I even change it to 15 if you guys wanted me to. All the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. I wonder if these are actual young people or if these are older people pretending to be young to try to, like, exploit, um, like, like dirt out of him for content, you know? Um, yeah. So. He needs a... He, need, he needs a... I wonder when he said roommate earlier, I wonder if that meant that he has like a, a roommate inside of like a, a group home, which seems like it might be, you know, or maybe he has like assisted living in an apartment or something. It depends on his state. Jesus Christ. And by the forking way, keep Not in mind that this good. man is literally 25 years old. Oh my God. So yeah, I guess he's in jail now. I guess this is the Probably town not. he's from. The police department posted oh, on actually... Facebook. They said earlier today, Nampa police detective executed a search warrant on one of the residents, 1900 block. That's a good thing. Of West Bella Lane involving the internet crimes against children. While the investigation is still ongoing, no one has been charged yet, and we still have no details of the case on release. We want to remind to take this opportunity to remind parents that social media platforms can be useful, but there are often breeding grounds for predators. That's true, too. Please make sure you always monitor your child's social media accounts and report any suspicious activity. I don't know if he is in jail, but. Let me see. He's obviously not because he just said there's no charges. Take the time to visit with your kids and let them know not everyone has good intentions. Talk to them about what's right and wrong. Make sure that the settings in private and that they haven't allowed anyone access to you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Um, I'm not sure what the police department's going to do. Uh, depending on like the, what, what area is this All from? Um, Nampa police. Where is Nampa? Did they say? Oh, it's Idaho. They probably don't have any like infrastructure to help people with disabilities there. Um, because that's what the, that's what this person needs is that. I wonder if there is an update on this situation. Oh, I guess they're trolling here. It's a newest update. How can Jupiter cheat on this? That's what I'm saying. If you think that this person's an actual predator, then you wouldn't continue to make content out of it after you saw something like that. Um. If we come with me to visit Jupiter in jail, is Jupiter? Jupiter's prison bun. I wonder if they're actually in. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. Oh, there's no update since then. This is the most recent thing. I doubt that they're actually in All jail. Um. All of 
It may, unless there was like additional information from the Nampa the police department, but it's possible. Always monitor your child's social media accounts. Is that Florida? It said Idaho. Oh. Report any suspicious activity. I don't know if he's insane, dude. I took a bit of my blood yes. and put it right on her skin, and I said, "Blood of my blood. Let Incredible. it be known that I am now the master of this. Let them okay. know. So be okay. the name of my own, and so will this blood be." Incredible. And then was able to bring her to life using that. And I can take away Wait, her second. What? I'm so lost. Do you mind if I see her once more? Of course. Of course. Okay. What the? She doesn't like talking out loud. She's very shy. She's very okay. Shy Does she ever talk to you? Okay. We're communicating telepathically right now. And she uh, yeah, it looks like a... Uh, looks like a little My Little Pony thing. Um, <laughs> Jesus, man. <sighs> she's nervous just getting to meet you she's really nervous right now wait so she lets you bite her yep she's a homunculus she serves me as my blood source can you know because yeah so, she's very shy though she doesn't like being on camera for very long it just a, freaks her out could you she's uh, very shy. so i, I want to know about this dude's childhood like what caused him to be like this like he <laughs> like what a weird question they they clearly have fucking autism bro <laughs> like i understand this is like the uh this is like the it's like your typical um this is like your typical young guy who doesn't really get it or young person who just doesn't really get it like doesn't really understand disabilities and i get it it's just like you know it's like it's a reasonable innocent question but it's like damn man we're really behind on our education on people in the, you know, the, this, in the, you know, uh, in the uh, IDD community. Um, <clears throat> very interesting. Very interesting. He, bro said he's telepathically communicating with his My Little Pony stuffed animal. Is there a second part to this? Oh, okay. Claw. Cross my thumb. All right. Yes. Blood of my blood. Be undone. It sounds like a very, like, almost religious thing. I wonder if um, a part of it comes from, like, their weird interpretation, like a bizarre interpretation of religion um, here. That's how I dispel the spell. Okay. Now that she has my blood running through her veins. Now uh, that she's... Of course, yeah. Makes sense. Oh. <gasps> she, she, shocked, she shocked me with some of her powers. She shocked me. That's okay. why I turned and went, oh, what the... Oh, testy, she She's, wants... She gets all testy whenever I do the dispel ritual after bringing her back from the dispel. Oh, the she gets all testy with me and tries to yeah. shock or try to do some damage to let me know that she was displeased. Sorry, Sheratora. Oh, I'm very, enough. very sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to show them how I did that. Yes, Sheratora, <laughs> it's for educational purposes, I'm sorry, but sometimes, you know. Yeah, she understands. She's just mad at me for having to do that. Hey, you watch your mouth, Missy. Oh, what's she saying? That's the reason why I are swearing. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, this is just... Okay. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what to say. Genuinely, I don't. You have kids with Charatora? Yeah, her and I, uh, and I have quite a few. Not gonna lie. But, uh, yeah. Very Christian-esque here. Honey, watch your mouth. Um, otherwise... And understand why our babies are swearing. And some of our kids swear. That's why I'm telling her to watch her mouth. Cool. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Sheratora, you watch your mouth, Missy. Watch your mouth, Sheratora. <gasps> Imagine he was like, don't talk to my wife like that. That's the reasonable response, all right? Only I tell Sheratora not to not to speak like that. Make me get the soap. So here are most of our kids. <gasps> Who's wow. this? this? Little cherry. Okay. Bro, look at the tweaker blinds in the background. This little, is little cherry blossom. Little cherry. Probably looks like a group home or something. And we have little silver flame here. Our sun. So it seems we have an Adam and Eve situation. So eventually, do your children have to, you know, in, you know, to continue? Uh, no, not inbreed. They don't inbreed. They, they outbreed. Their own mate. I don't raise no animal in my house. Okay. Uh, you know, fair enough. So yeah. how typically would one go about this sort of scenario of getting a human host? I usually had to find like something life size enough to like human sized to put okay. her soul into. I had to find a body that is the right, you know, qualification for her. Yeah. She, Imagine like, really being stuck in something like that. Um, and some dude's just fucking probably jizzing on you every day and dumping his blood on you. That's fucking wild, man. 
No. Very picky about which body she inhabits. She's very picky. And I can't blame her, you know? But sure. she's very adamant when it comes to her body choices. This one oh, seems oh, to I'm suit right. her, but whenever I ask her if she wants a new body, she's like, nope, I like this one. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll, okay, yeah. I'll come back to that later. Who wouldn't? Yeah, she's who very fucking wouldn't like that body where, instead? Who, what she chooses as her body, you know? Well, I, wanted her to have a I wonder if she's, this guy's trying to find dates for uh, from these girls so that he can, you know, use their body for his girlfriend here. More human body, but I haven't been in. How do those biological mechanisms work with Damon to produce kin? I just want to know, like, does he truly believe what he's saying? And, like, where does he Possibly. live? He's 25 years old. I mean, he could live with his parents, but I don't know if he has, like, any parental figures in his life. Like, this is just... I'm sorry. I genuinely... Like, I don't know what to say. This is just... This is the most odd thing I've seen in a long time. Like, this is so oh, weird. Oh, yeah? Have you seen the number three? <laughs> sorry. This is a stupid joke. Weird to me. Well, I take a bit of my DNA and insert it through my claw, whatever's at my disposal at the moment. And okay. I use magic to grow the embryo over time. So you put the DNA on your finger? If I don't have anything available that I can, you know, insert the DNA through, I usually do it through my claw. And then I use magic to grow the embryo. Why does he call it his claw? Embryo. Well, you don't Where even do need you to know. harbor the embryo? Where is it kept? It's usually kept in her womb. Until mature. Thank you for the sub pounding off. <laughs> That's a nice name that you have. Thirty. Then, once the embryo becomes more mature over the week, over the months, when it's about nine months, I usually have to find a new host body for that embryo what? to host into. Hey, my one is. Is it? I wonder if they're like schizophrenic or something too. Jesus Christ! The fuck? It's a little bit interesting. Possible. Will Sheratora eventually have to find a new host? She wants me to go body shopping for her, and I will. Hey, what if she wants your body? She and I really don't really talk about that. She's like, whenever I ask her if she would like to inhabit my body one day, she's like, nope, I want to die in your arms. When you die, I want to die with you. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Incredible. This dude's fucking insane. Okay, I saw part of a video where he, like, was it. I mean, I wonder if they've had such, like, an antisocial life that they... That's probably what it was, that they've created this entire character around uh, My Little Pony action figure. I will say something though. I remember I watched a My Little Pony documentary once, and for some reason, there's a lot of people with autism in that fandom. You know, no, no, no hate to this. I mean, I'm sure it's a fabulous story. And all it's just an interesting factoid. You know, it's just interesting. Admitting to everything. I don't know if his account is still up though. I have seen the error of my ways and wish to be forgiven of my crimes. And to all those others that I have hurt and wronged, I ask you to forgive me. It was never meant to hurt anyone. I bow my head in shame. Okay. And I am ashamed to call myself a Judith. I am ashamed of my actions, and I wish to be forgiven of the, the crimes I have been accused of. I promise you that it will never, ever happen again. I swear on the name of Jupiter and Corbin oh, okay. that I will make this right. Um, okay. I promise I will make this right. Dude, I have to find out if this dude's in jail. This is all like in the span of a week that I've heard like of all this stuff. I have to find out if he's in jail, dude. Okay, so here's the original Facebook post, but I'm not seeing like anything else. I'm not seeing any other updates like after this. If you guys want like an update to this or like a part two or anything, be sure you guys subscribe, drop a like. So uh, this is the weirdest thing like I've ever, I feel like I've ever I wonder like, if this discovered. Is about to. Just because there's so much like lore almost to this guy. But as of right now, it looks like he's gonna be locked up for a minute. Yeah, I mean, whether he's locked up or something obviously needs to happen. There needs to be some kind of support intervention. Um, I think it's unfortunate, though, that like most people in this situation don't really care. And that's the that's the most unfortunate part about it. Like, I'm not saying nobody should. I'm not saying anybody should like this guy or anything. But like, nobody's doing this because they want to be, you know, get somebody that has a problem off the street in the, in the right way. It's mostly trolls that are trying to set this person up to be exposed for some kind of inappropriate behavior. So they can go like, see, this person is like a bad person. It can justify their um, initial bullying, which is basically what it is. Um, but yeah, this person clearly needs some kind of support in some capacity. You know, they need a mental health counselor. Um, 
they need to have they just they need more supports that's all i can really say um and i don't know if it should go to jail because i would feel bad for the police that i'd have to deal with that like the correctional officers because that's really not, shouldn't have to be their responsibility to deal with stuff like that you know you don't go to school for that kind of shit uh, okay thanks for hitting me before you go down uh you know i so i feel if like a ceo having to deal with that kind of shit as well um but you know maybe something we'll see uh, we'll see, but there most likely isn't going to be jail because I, first of all, um, I doubt that any of them had, um, actually sent them pictures. And second of all, I doubt any of them were actually like young people. They were probably, or they were probably people of like an appropriate age pretending to be, you know, like some kind of a decoy. That's what it seemed like when you have like a discord full of like 10 people in there. You know what I mean? I question the authenticity of that. Um, so, okay. Yeah. Interesting. 